being overseas and being active duty, well, really just being active duty alone adds a, a challenge to it in the amount of time that you have because you're essentially working two jobs. But, you know, being overseas really does make you um, value your time a lot more and manage your time more and, and mean that, you know, instead of spending four hours looking at, you know, two different property, I, I could spend four hours doing this, this and this, setting up my virtual assistant to look at 10 properties and, and recording podcast episodes and, you know, doing X, Y, and Z in that, in that amount of time. Cause, and you know, my time is so limited. Um, and I'm sure that that's kind of what you've, what you've found as well as you value, you appreciate and evaluate your time much better. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think there's a couple of pieces there. You know, uh, one, you talk about the challenge of time difference, which I 100% agree. And, uh, but if you can build some of these processes and stuff like that, then, you know, sometimes that time difference doesn't matter, you know, because eventually you get to the point where whoever's running that process or whatever, you know, whatever hours they're working, they're working, it doesn't impact you necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other, the other piece on the second there is, uh, you're talking about the time freedom and things like that. And I think that we are, we are all kind of um, a lot of us in the military, a lot of us that go the entrepreneur route of real estate, you know, kind of, we think we can do it all. Um, we think we're good at everything, um, you know, whatever that might be. But I think we have to take a step back sometimes and, and look at like, why are we really doing this? You know, whether it's for, you know, we've talked about the time freedom, whether that's for family or vacation or, or whatever it is. So like long-term, like I don't want to be doing all of that. Right. I, I want to buy that time. And so you know, whether you, you know, build those processes in or find, you know, partners or team members, hire on team members. Uh, I think a lot of times, you know, it, it does, it's challenging sometimes to, uh, to stop and take the time to train somebody to do a process how you want it done. Mm -hmm. Or if you're hiring or partnering with somebody to find the right people who might be better at, at something than we are. There's a, no matter how good we think we are, there's someone out there that's better at everything we're doing than we are. Uh, we just have to find the right people to do that. Mm -hmm.